Hello, today we're going to crack open a box of Ancient Knights, Rare Cluster 1, provided from uh, Oz Anima. So we're going to keep track of how many secret rares and rares uh, we pull. Now each pack has 10 cards in it, and this box has 36 packs. And each pack now has one full art. So we're going to crack it open, okay? And I'm going to skip a lot of the cards, and we're going to go to some variants that we'll see. And some, the full art, of course. So this card is Discovery. So they replaced the common and uncommon foils that you get in a pack. Uh, in Lapis Cluster, we had one whole uh, foil every pack, but now that's been replaced with a full art per pack. And we're going to skip skip many of the cards, and we're going to go straight to the full art. And we've got a secret temple. This card says, at the end of turn, if you don't control a resonator, you may banish this card. If you do, search your deck for a golem and put it into the field, then shuffle your deck. That costs one uh, white and three void. And our rare for the pack is our Gourmet Chef. This card comes in and um, puts 10 strength counters on your J ruler. So he's used for the starter deck uh, ruler called Kirik. And the next pack we have. Wow, full art secret rare. So with Ancient Knights, Force of Will have redone the rarities. So as I said before, each pack has a full art, um, but secret rares are quite rare. We are, I, I kind of expect to give out four or five secret rares in this box. So pulling one of the full arts, full art secret rares is pretty special. And this card is uh, Tia. Uh, Tia. Latoli? Lel? Latoli Lel? I don't know. She's an elf. When this card into your field, uh, search your deck for a card named Tears White. Falcon, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, when this card into the field, target resonator gains when damage dealt to this card, destroy it until end of turn. So she fetches her little friend, puts it into your hand, uh, and then something can die whenever you deal damage to it. She also has a tap ability for 6 will, and you tap this card. Uh, this card deals 1000 damage to target player, so it helps you go over the top. Pretty cool. So that's one of our secret rares for the pack. So, for the box, so we'll keep that to the side. We'll, we'll add up the count later. Because if you're a TCG player like me, I like the fact that there's new rarities. I think that's really beneficial to the game, especially the secondary market. Now, the full art for this pack is Dark Elf Sorcerer. And this card is 3 cost. Whenever a ruler or resonator you control deals damage to you, this card deals that much damage to your opponent. So this plugs straight into with the ruler of the set. Um, your ruler basically damage damage to yourself uh, to get back another dark elf from the graveyard. Uh, Freyla, I think it's called. So this just means that that automatic ability will also deal face damage to your opponent. That's pretty good. Our rare for the pack is Conjure Constructs. Put three 500 500 light golem resonator tokens with Mobilize two into the field. So this card. Uh, it goes with Pandora, the other ruler from the set. Pandora needs three golems to judgment for only one cost. So this card basically, you could really call it uh, a four mana judgment your J ruler and have some golems in play. That's pretty cool. I think Pandora really needs it. Uh, 
All right. The full art is Hellflame. Hellflame is like the key removal for Kyrick. Really key. Just because Kyrick starts with his 10 strength counters, and then this card will, can spend all 10 for only one fire will to deal 1,000 damage very early on. I think it's the strongest ping that we've had for the, such an early game play, especially to target anything. Target J slash Resonator as well. Pretty strong. The rare from the pack is Elemental Blast. Now this is an interesting card because it only does 400 damage. It's a spirit magic, so spirit magic goes along with the um, starter deck ruler Gil. And then it says Torrent, this card deals 700 damage instead. So Gil could play this card for free because it's only one. He would just have to remove an elemental from the graveyard. It's okay. It's a, it's pretty good in uh, a limited or draft format. So no secret rare in that pack. I wonder if we'll get one of the uh, one ruler. So there's only three rulers in the set instead of the typical five. Uh, this is a new change as well for the packs and boxes moving forward. All right. So we got a Eruptor Fant full art. This card is sweet. I'm just going to turn on the light so it focuses better. There we go. Eruptor Fant. That card is sweet, so it's rare. Full art, you can kind of see the texture on it there. Yeah, that's cool. This card is, it's a beast. Three drop, uh, all fire will. The beast you control gains swiftness. Whenever another resonator you control attacks, this card gains 100 plus 100 until end of turn. So basically, he has swiftness himself, and he gives other beasts swiftness. Now, there's another card in this set that can tutor a beast as well from your deck. And for our rare, we have Song of Sympathy. Play this card only if you control two or more Murlocs. Gain control of target resonator. So this card can steal something of your opponent's. It's important to note that the starter deck ruler is also a mermaid, so you only actually need to control one mermaid resonator for this card to go live. It's pretty cool. No secret rare in that pack. And our next one we have. Oh, secret rare. Awesome. We have Dark Riding Hood. Yeah, there we go. She's fairy, fairy Tale Darkness 3 cost resonator with 700 attack. Uh, yeah, attack and 800 defense. And we have a lot of text on this card. This card gains whenever this card deals damage to a resonator, destroy that resonator. As long as your life total is 2000 or less. This is a really good um, removal tool or tempo play. This card gains swiftness as long as your life total is 1000 or less. When this card enters the field, you may remove two mystery counters from your J slash ruler. If you do, remove target resonator from the game. When this card attacks, it deals 200 damage to target player or resonator. You gain 200 life. So that last automatic ability is less important. But what makes this card so strong is that it gets better the later the game goes. Additionally, the remove two mystery counters to destroy target, oh, to remove target resonator from the game. We kind of can see that one mystery counter equals two will at the moment. Um, so you're removing something for probably a little bit overcosted. But the fact is that you get a body probably with swiftness and probably destroying something. So you could destroy two things by playing one card. That's pretty good. And our full art. So that took our rare slot. Um, our full art is Demonic Rabbit. I wonder if we can focus on this. Nope. Okay. When this card is put into a graveyard from your field, it deals 500 damage to you. So that kind of goes along with the theme of the Dark Elves that deal damage to us, and then we redirect it to the opponent. 
That's a three drop rabbit slash demon. 900 attack, 900 defense, so it plays a little bit ahead of the curve, but has a small downside. So that's our second secret rare from the box as well. All right, next pack. We have our full art is Leaf Guard. No, autofocus doesn't like me today. That's fine. Uh, Leaf Guard is a two drop elemental. Uh, no extra stats. Uh, and attack is 800. And defense is. Uh, sorry, attack is 400 and defense is 800. Our rare for the pack is Vanish in Fire. As an additional cost to play this card, you may remove any number of strength counters from your J slash ruler. This card deals X100 damage to each resonator your opponent controls, where X is the number of counters removed. So it deals a lot of damage to the board, depending on how many counters you remove. If a resonator dealt damage by this card, this turn would be put in a graveyard and removed from the game instead. So it's an AoE board clear that can scale with the amount of counters that you, that you really want to spend on it. Alright, next pack. We have... We have Moon in the Mist. Now, what I said before about the mystery counters, I've based it off this card. This card basically um, dictates the, the power level of mystery counters. It's a four cast removal. Uh, Moon in the Mist. Uh, quick cast is just destroy target resonator. Put a mystery counter on your J ruler. So mystery counters are really hard to, to generate at the moment. So having a premium removal cost four, typically if we want to destroy a, a, a resonator off the board, uh, we'll be paying two for that. So let's just say that that first sentence, destroy target resonator, um, that should cost two. So the next sentence should also cost two. Put mystery counter on your J slash ruler. So that's where I, I can kind of determine that one counter should equal two mana, two will. Now our full up for the for the box uh, for the for the pack is Explorer on Matt Hoel. It's a two cost fire resonator with 700 attack and 500 defense. When this card enters your field, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a chant, put it into your hand. So this really supports the archetype of uh, burn. Because most of those decks, while well, the, the burn archetype will have a lot of chance, they just deal face damage like Memory to Memoria, leading into Lightning Strikes and Blood Boils and whatnot. So it's nice to see a, a little bit of support in that direction. And then our rare is Ultimate Magic Warrior Gear Atmos. This guy is a uh, 7 cost, 2000 2000. He's a golem. Golem is mobilized 3, you have to pay 3 to be able to attack or to defend with him. You may banish 3 golems rather than pay this card's cost. When this card enters the field, destroy target resonator, your opponent controls. So the wombo combo is the conjure golems that we had before, and then you sacrifice over them to play this card. So it's a 2 card combo that nets you a 2000-2000 on the board while destroying something else. Seems okay. I wonder if we'll get Pandora in this box. Next pack is we have another Atmos. He's okay. As our rare. And then for our full art, we have a mermaid guard at the Coral Palace. Whenever this card attacks or blocks, look at the top card of your deck. You may put it on the bottom of your deck. So this guy is three cost, has 400 attack and 1200 defense. And is a mermaid, so it gives mermaids some way to filter their deck a little bit more. Oh, and there's also a great card here called Blood Spray, probably my favorite card of the set. 
It says, draw two cards. This card uh, deals 300 damage to you. I don't mind. I got two cards. Uh, awakening, remove a mystery counter from your J slash Rizzle. Destroy target resonator with total cost two or less. So it's a control card that draws you two cards for darkness that generally lacks draw. When STA rotated, or space time anomaly that is, rotated, we, darkness suddenly lost a lot of draw. And I think that may be a suitable replacement. It also kind of leans into Rhea as a ruler because she is mystery counters, right? So maybe the Rhea deck is a, like a really good uh, card advantage deck. So the next pack, we have a sweet, 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 sweet full art. Gem Blade Emerald. Yeah. When this card enters your field, recover up to four target magic stones if you control a wind gem. And she, she ironically costs four. She has 800 attack, 800 defense. So there's, there's a combo with this card, an incredibly greedy combo. Uh, with twins and other rare in the deck that hopefully we'll pull today and I'll talk more about it. Uh, so she can come in and untap um, or recover your four magic stones. And that's pretty good. Uh, that was our full art for the pack. And then our uh, rare is a alternating current crystal. Golems you control are mobilized. And pay two and tap or rest this card. You may put a golem from your hand into your field. So this this guy can cheat in larger things. The trouble is that he already costs four, and then he costs another two. And you can only rest it if it's on, been on the board already. You can't. It needs swiftness to be able to play its rest abilities. So if you're looking to cheat in big golems regularly for cheap after you play this guy. He might be a big part. Alright, next pack. Alright, I've got one of my favorite cards. I'll start with my favorite card. For the rare, we have Leaf Knight. So, this guy is pretty normal. And here's a 2-drop, 600-600. Remove an elemental from your graveyard from the game. This card gains 200 plus 200 until end of turn. Base ability up to two, terms, uh, ti uh, two times per turn. Uh, so he can buff himself. He's obviously an elemental uh, that removes other ele elementals in the graveyard. Remove an ele <coughs> elemental from your graveyard from the game. This guard, the card gains a barrier until end of turn. That one is the kicker, barrier. Really like it. I think if Gil, the ruler from the starter deck, is going to see play, I think it's going to be off the back of that guy. Now, our full art is a full art rare. Recover all resonators you control. Resonators you control gain plus 1000, plus 1000, and pierce until end of turn. This is Feyre's command. Uh, it's a 7 cost chant. And because it's rare, you can see the texture on that. Next pack. Alright. We have our full art for the pack is Demon Watcher. He's a 5 cost. Yep, 5 cost. Uh, flying, when this card is, uh, is put into a graveyard from, your, uh, from the field, it deals 600 damage to target resonator. I, really, it's, I think it's actually a shame that this card doesn't say to target resonator or target player. I think if this guy were going to see play as a 5 cost, I think he should be dealing face damage. Uh, especially because he's already flying. I think that would have done the card some good. Um, and our rare is Leaf Knight again. That's funny, two packs in a row. Now, there's actually some really good commons and uncommons in this set as well. One of them is Lethal Arrow. Uh, quick cast, destroy target um, damage resonator. 
just for one. This guy goes really well with Mikage from the last cluster because Mikage says pay one, deal 100 damage to target resonator. So suddenly you have a quick cast removal that costs two to destroy a resonator. I think we mentioned something that, like that before, didn't we? The next pack we have. Seabed Investigations is our full art. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Put a card from among them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you control a mermaid, which Shayla is a mermaid on a ruler side, uh, put two cards from your hand and the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order instead. So this is this gives Shayla some filter and some card draw. Some really good card draw for only two will. Now, Gate to the Outer World is our rare. When this card enters your field, your opponent removes a resonator they control from the game. And then you can uh, rest this card and pay X, where well, X is the total cost of the resonator. Uh, to move it from the remove area into your field. Now you're paying four and your opponent gets to choose. I think that's the trouble there. If I'm paying four for a removal, I want to choose. Or I want to do it to the whole board. Alright, we're nearly halfway there. Sweet. We have a uh, dragon call. Basically search your deck for a dragon, dragonoid, or dinosaur, reveal it and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. It's a tutor. And a full art leaf knight, hell yeah. I'm gonna play that guy. I'm gonna play it. So he's rare, so he's got texture on him. It's pretty sweet. So we're nearly halfway through, I've only got two secret rares. So if you're looking for play sets of secret rares, like some of us are, you might be looking for a little while. That's pretty cool. So, one each box we have one of these cards. So, this artwork was spoiled a while ago as an April Fool's joke. And they decided to use some artwork for it. So, that's a one per box card as well. Uh, and the rare in that pack was Feyre's. Fairy's Command, the AoE buff thing that we have already shown. Uh, oh, yeah, boy. So the rare for the, for the pack is Dark Revolution. We've just had Dance of Shadows, one of the reanimator cards, rotated out recently. And this is nearly a replacement. Slightly different take on it, though. So this is Dark Revolution. Put target resonator from your graveyard into the field. For four cost. Darkness. So if you're looking to play some like Lumia Reanimator, play that card. Now we also have Keys' Call as our full art. This card is kind of important for the meta. Uh, it co is one cost, quick cast, tar uh, cancel target automatic ability of a Resonator, draw a card. So uh, cancel like enter effects and stuff. Pretty important. And the very fact that it draws a card as well. Really good. Right. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet. So, Mega Thunderfish. I think that's a secret rare. Yep. Uh, when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, return target resonator your opponent controls to its owner's hand. So, when it dies, it bounces something else. If the weather is rain, put it on top of the owner's deck instead. And that kind of fixes their draw, and that's really good. It's really strong. I think this card is going to be Shayla's mainstay. It might be Premier 3 drop. Uh, now this card gains plus 200 plus 200 in swiftness as long as the wind, weather is thunderstorm so thunderstorm isn't a mechanic that's been revealed yet and that's going to be probably attached to the ruler later on uh, but this card is really good so that's one of our secret res now full art is white raven basically enters the field um, you can banish a gem draw a card okay so next pack we have ah oh, sweet we 
have another secret rare Orphica. Um, popular art for the set. And then we have Lethal Arrow full art. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, our rare for the set was Dragon Call, the Dragonoid Tutor card that we saw before. And we have Reduction. Now, in Lapis Cluster, we had Bear Magic of a one cost. This is two cost. Uh, remove all abilities, and it became a 400 400 bear. This is, and it had Remnant as well, really strong. And this is a two cost. Reduction, it's called. Quick cast, target resonator becomes a 0, 100 until end of turn. But it keeps its abilities, that's that's the thing. Um, normally, like you, you're just basically trading for this card. That's okay. I think bear magic is still better. But for white to get a good trade card is pretty good. Especially mono white. Mono white has trouble trading sometimes. So, Kame is our secret rare. Incredibly strong card. It is four cost. Uh, basically, you come in, steal something of your opponents for two cost or less, uh, and give it swiftness. So you attack with it, and then you can banish a resonator and pay one. This card gains swiftness. So you steal something, swing with it, banish it, and then you get to swing with a 1,000, 1,000. I'll allow it. And then we have uh, our full art is another mermaid. Aqua rifle mermaid. When this card enters the field, rest target resonator. If the weather is rain, return it to its owner's hand instead. It's okay. We haven't seen the ruler yet. One per box. And just as I say that, I found the ruler. Our ruler is Freyla. This is the darkness ruler of the set. At the end of turn, you may put a target Dark Elf from your graveyard into your hand. If you do this, deal 300 damage to you. So this is essentially a slower version of an infinite deck because you can just kind of keep going forever, add in some life gain, you just never run out of threats. And then when you judgment, when this card enters your field, put target Dark Elf from Graveyard into the field so you can reoccur and, and have a high tempo play for three will. When this card attacks, another Dark Elf you control gains 400-400 and swiftness until end of turn. Mm. That's pretty good. Uh, you can pay one red as well, a uh, one fire. This card gains swiftness until end of turn. So swiftness J rulers has been a thing before, and it's been incredibly powerful. So we're yet to see if this will see some play, but probably if some dark elves get some good support. Uh, pay darkness and fire. This card deals 100 damage multiplied by the number of dark elves you control to your opponent, so it really just nukes the opponent, provided you can swarm enough with Dark Elves, I think that's the, that's the thing. Now our rare is Shayla's Foresight. This card is a modular card, and there's a lot to it. If you want to play Shayla, play Shayla's Foresight. Alright, another secret rare is Tia. We've had her before. And we have a full art food supply. Sweet. Because I'm going to use food supply in my Kyrick deck. Food supply is gain 5 strength counters on your J slash ruler. And draw a card. And Kyrick says uh, spend 5 counters to ping something, anything, for 500 damage. So that card basically says deal 500 damage and uh, draw a card, and that's pretty good. Next pack has Bubble Golem. This is a 2 cost 1000-1000, 1, 1, 
And before you say that's broken, it has mobilizer one because golems and mobilizer the thing. Uh, and then at the end of battle, when this guy blocks her attacks, banish this card. And that's okay. I, th I think if the, that card is going to see play, it should see play in like an OTK deck. Uh, OTK of Pandora, maybe. Uh, now our rare is Safina, Freyla's right hand. One of the Dark Elves. She fetches her friend and then um, puts it into your hand and then shuffle the deck and it gains stats depending on your life. It's okay. I think for Dark Elves to continually reoccur those two cards backwards and forwards is going to be a thing and that's probably going to how it's going to go. But I don't think they're good enough to see competitive play yet. I don't know. I think Dark Elves need some support. Now, one card I want to talk about is uh, a Favor's, uh, yeah, Favor's spell. It's a uh, green one cost, quick cast, cancel target spell with quick cast. So we, uh, one cost, cancel target, quick cast card, and that's just really strong. Provided you have some good targets. Probably the, the most played card of the set so far. Next pack we have Keys the Wise Dolphin. This card gains flying until end of turn if you pay a one water will. That's okay, it's a four drop. And then we have for the full art elf in the trees. At the beginning of your main phase, produce a wind will. This guy has zero attack and 800 defense for three. Now we already have a few mana dorks, but this guy is very restricted. I think that is Force of Will's way of nerfing some of the the mana dorks. I think that's okay. Simply attaching uh, uh, will production onto a resonator has been dangerous. Alright, a rare for this pack is Trapmaster Lemuria. Lemuria, yeah, there we go. She's a four cost elf who's basically free if your opponent attacked three times or more. So that's really like counter play for a swarm deck. When this card ends the field, it deals 800 damage to target attacking resonator. So if your opponent attacked on the third time, you would throw this guy down and probably end up killing it. And then our full art is a vanilla vampire 400-400, a loon might shadow. It's pretty cool. All Next pack we have, oh, Tia's White Falcon. Now we're just talking about this card with Tia. Tia? Falcon. She fetches this guy. Uh, it's a flying beast 200 200 as long as you control Tia this card gains swiftness when this card attacks it deals 200 damage to target player or resonator so Tia gives something if something is uh, when damage is dealt to this card destroy it so Tia's white falcon come in and attack it doesn't matter where it attacks and then it pings whatever you target with Tia's ability it just kills it that's incredibly strong but it's a two piece combo and it's fairly interruptible, so. Uh, now, full art is Feast on Mortals. Feast on Mortals. As additional cost to play this card, Banish a Resonator. This card deals damage equal to the Banish Resonator's attack to your opponent. You gain life equal to the Banish Resonator's defense. So if you banish like a 2000 defense guy, you'll do 2000 face damage. Might be some combos there with golems, maybe. Golems have some pretty big HP. Pretty big defense. Next pack. We have a secret rare, Vitality Drain. That's sweet. This is probably going to be one of the new closes uh, or win conditions for many Darkness control decks, just to go over the top. Sometimes Darkness f has previously had trouble closing out games. This is one of the ways to do that and stabilize. 
So it's a five cost uh, target player loses 1,000 life. They just lose it. Then you don't do damage. They just lose it. You gain uh, 1,000 life. That's a 2,000 uh, life swing, basically. Uh, remove mystery counter from your J ruler. This card deals 1,000 damage to target resonator. So you can also remove it or, or kill something at the same time. It's very strong. I think this card is going to be a key card moving forward. It's, it may end up replacing observation, Schrodinger's observation in the future. So we'll pull that one to the side. And our full art is Winds of Vitality. Another piece of guild support. Uh, it's a chance spirit magic, so guild can play it for free basically because it only costs one. Uh, quick cast, target J slash resonator, resonator gains plus 600, plus 600. Till end of turn. Now we're getting close to the end of the box. Oh, sweet. We have Wolf's Rain. This card is a three cost card. Uh, put three 300, 300 darkness beast slash wolf resonator tokens with swiftness and precision into the field until. At, ah, yep. At the end of next end of turn, remove them from the game. So you don't get to keep them, but they, and that's 900 damage basically with swiftness and precision. That's pretty strong. Um, I also probably pulled a valuable card as well. This is Pharaoh's Spell Full Art. Sure, it's only a, an uncommon Full Art, but the very fact that it's it's an incredibly played card. And it's going to keep being played as well. I'm going to keep that to the side. Alright, next pack. We have a magic stone. Now, we do have some special magic stones in this set. It looks like we've only gotten one of these per box. This is produces uh, green. Target elf gains plus 100, plus 100 till end of turn when you tap it without producing. So, elf support maybe. And then for our full art, we have a magic flying golem. 900, 900, 3 drop. Our next pack. Funnily enough, as the next darkness stone. Um, next special stone, it's a darkness. It deals 100 damage uh, multiplied by the dark elves you control to each player. Now if you had that three drop from the start of the video, it'll deal all the damage to your opponent, that's pretty good. Now full art card is a four drop fire dragon's egg. Basically when you pop it, you get a thousand thousand flying dragon on the field. Unfortunately, the card can't block or attack, so it's a little bit clunky, but it's, it's a cool effect. Now, our rare is Shayla's Elite, and then our Beast of Mount Howell. This card is sweet. Uh, Dragon as you control gain plus 200, 200 and you can banish it and pay two. Search your deck for a Dragonoid, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So you can buff early on, it means all your two drops will basically trade into trade up into three drops. Three and your threes are basically trade up to fours. Uh, some good tempo there. But you are still paying two for an addition, so there's some trade-off there. Now our next pack uh, has a secret rare, Great Tornado. Really good card. Uh, seven cost. As you play this card, you may rest up to six resonators you control to pay one less void uh, to play this card for each resonator you rested this way. Destroy two target non-magic stone entities. So this is a green J ruler killer, but it's locked behind some really tough um, things. Like you, you have to tap stuff or pay seven. So I think that's really well balanced it may be too hard that's a secret rare we'll see how it goes wind of fairy man is the full art 
When this card enters the field, look at the top three cards of your deck. You may reveal an elemental or spirit magic from among them and put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom. I think I would just rather a one drop two two that says draw a card instead of revealing and picking and choosing. So we got two packs left. See how few secret rares I've pulled and only one of each, so um I think that's, that's pretty good. Our rare is uh environmental researcher Fabry. Yeah, it's 5 cost 400, 400. When this card enters your field, put a 1000, 1000 Fire Dragon Resonator token with flying into the field. Now, if you flicker this with Lumia, you're going to have a lot of 1000, 1000 Flying Dragons. And if you're anything like me, I like dragons. Now, a Flut is the Magic Stone that we saw before, and it's rare, so it's textured. It's pretty cool. Now our final booster. Includes. The final special magic stone from the box. Treat this card as a light magic stone. You can tap it to produce light. Or you can tap it. Uh, pay one light and banish this card. Put target golem from your graveyard into your hand, so it offers some recycle at the cost of a stone to golems. I'm unsure. Now, that's a full art secret rare game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's incredible. I hope that can focus. So Secret Rare also is textured, uh, and I like that card a lot. So let's do a quick count on our Secret Rares for the box. Out of 36 boosters, I pulled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 Secret Rares. Um, so I think moving forward, if also will keep this kind of stuff up, it'll really boost the secondary market. Uh, and I, I mean, they're still producing a lot of um, commons and uncommons that are quite staple. We saw Keys' Call as uh, as common, and we saw uh, Pharaoh's spell as uncommon. So, as long as we have some of those staples still in common uncommons, it won't be too bad for new players to get into the game, provided those staples are available. Uh, and then we have some secret rares that are quite playable like came, uh, which will be quite valuable. I think that's good, especially full art secret rares. They, they have a lot of value now. Uh, additionally, if you're looking for all three rulers, uh, you, you're gonna have to fish at least three boxes and get lucky. I've opened a few boxes now and I'm yet to find a Pandora. So thank you very much to Oz Animart for supplying this box. To open and review. Um, stay tuned for my starter deck reworks as well. They're coming up. We're going to take a starter deck, rebuild it using Rare Cluster 1 uh, because many of the mechanics are supported in that. And then we're going to play test it and post it. And then we are going to have a look at the next starter deck. And we'll do that for all five attributes. So um, now what I'm going to do is if you're interested, we have a basic ruler pack here. What I'm going to do is give away the uh, one box, um, buy a box promo called Millennia Bond. So if you want this card, just throw down the words enter me into the comment section and you'll go into the draw to win that card. So thank you for watching.